Guys, my name is Ankush Kaurav and I welcome you to Con2 series. In the earlier tutorials, we learned what is a one-to-one -one mapping, many-to-one mapping, a bidirectional many-to-one, one-to-many mapping, and many other concepts in detail. Now we will learn what is a many-to-many -many mapping in a Hibernate application. Before I go and hit demo, let me tell you what exactly is the meaning of a many-to-many -many relationship between two tables in a database. For any two tables A and B, if 0, 1 or many records in table A can be linked to 0, 1 or many records in the table B, then table A is said to have a many-to-many -many relationship with table B and table B is said to have a many-to-many -many relationship with table A. For such a relationship, you will need a separate mapping table which has all the mapping information. Means, only by looking at this third table, you'll be able to know which record of table A is linked to which record of table B and vice versa. Say you have two tables in the database, student and student certification, and a mapping table containing all information about how these two tables are linked with each other. Clearly, by looking at this mapping table, many records in student table are linked to many records in student certification table. So student is having a many-to-many -many relationship with student certification table and many records in student certification table are linked to many records in student table. So student certification table is having a many-to-many -many relationship with student table. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to establish the same relationship at Java code level using a many-to-many -many mapping concept in this demo. I've already created these three tables in my database. That is student, student certification, and this mapping table, which is having all information for mapping student records and student certification records. Let's establish the exact relationship at Java code level using a many-to-many -many mapping concept in Hibernate. Just to save some time, I've already created a very simple demo doing it. Here, I've created a student class which is representing the student table. A student certification class which is representing the student certification table. And a main class will simply write code to test this application. Now I have two Java classes which are representing two tables in the database, student and student certification. Now only one pending task here is to specify a many-to-many -many mapping or a relationship of student class with student certification class. And this we do with the help of a many-to-many -many annotation. For this, you just need to add the reference of a collection set of student certification class with its getters and setters methods and on top of it just mention a many-to-many -many annotation and you are done. With this annotation what I'm telling Hibernate is while inserting student and student certification objects into the database tables it also needs to insert all required mapping information into the mapping table such that student class will have a many-to-many -many relationship with the student certification class. Alright, so let's test the application. Just to save some time, I've already written a test class for this application. Here, I'm creating two student certification objects, then creating two student objects and assigning the references of both student certification objects to the collection set references of both student objects. And these are the magic lines. Here, I'm just inserting records into the student table, that is two student objects. But when you run the application, Hibernate is not just going to insert records into the student table, but also will insert records into the student certification table too. And not to mention, with this mapping we established in student class, Hibernate will itself take care of mapping student records with student certification records by inserting records into the third mapping table which we created in the database. So let's run the application and test this.
Yes, Hibernate has inserted records into the student certification table, student table and also all required records into the mapping table. And by looking at this mapping table, we can understand or we can know which records of student table are linked to which records of student certification table. Guys, we just performed a unidirectional many-to-many -many mapping in this demo. If you want this cascade feature in the reverse direction too, that is whenever you insert a student certification object into the student certification table, Hibernate should also insert all related student objects into the student table too. Then you establish many-to-many -many mapping in student certification class too in similar ways as I just did in this demo in student class. But make sure you mention map by property in any of these two classes as per your need or tables design. Just to tell Hibernate which side it should consider for performing the mapping related tasks. Guys a big thank you for liking my tutorials on Hibernate series. I welcome all your queries, comments, feedback down the video or send me an email on this ID. Your any sort of interaction makes me upload more and more videos so keep them up through comments, emails or sharing the information across. Like the video if you really liked it and I'm gonna catch you in my next tutorial.